So I'm back out doing some more landscape photography. I'm up near Coniston. You can see the top of Dow Crag there. Um, I didn't really feel like going up too high today because my ankle's still playing up. I went up Bow Fell yesterday, but I didn't take this video camera. And about a third of the way up, when we were scrambling up the rocks, something like made a horrible crunching sound. And I don't want to deal with that again. I'd rather just play it safe and stay down here. But there is a little quarry down here. Um, I can't quite remember what it looks like because it's been a few years since I was here. But I think there's like a quarry around the edge of it. Then there's the water in the bottom, which is usually quite dark because I think it's quite deep. Then there's a waterfall at the end of it. So I'm thinking of testing out that wee little stopper again. And in the last video, I said I don't like um, the, the waterfall shots with the long exposure. So I'd quite like to try that out. These videos have got me thinking about things a lot more than usual. Usually if I don't like something, I just don't do it. And that's, that's the end of the conversation really. Um, so we'll see how that works out. And I can work out what I don't like about them and maybe work around it. I'm pretty sure I'm on a shortcut, but I could be wrong. We'll find out now. I can hear it now, so I think it's just over this fence. Yeah, you can see the waterfall at that end and all the dark water down there. You can see the reflections of the tree. So I'm gonna start at this end, find a composition that I like, and then maybe get closer to the waterfall as well. But I think if we find a composition and then keep an eye out for some decent light, because it's right up there at the moment. So it's gonna be sort of backlit. But it might work out okay. So I've found a composition that I like. I've gone for a portrait shot with this one. So it's sort of from the left of this tree and about halfway up here. So cutting down there, getting some of these rocks, but avoiding this tree. At the moment, the shutter speed is at half a second and that's without any filters and I already think that water is quite soft so once that six stops on that's going to be what a six stops on top of that so a second two seconds four seconds eight seconds 16 32 second shutter speed I have a feeling that's going to be the shot that annoys me but we'll find out now I'm just having a quick look through these now and I moved it slightly in between the shots. I must have knocked it somewhere. But the water doesn't look massively different. It looks a little bit bluer. But the six stop, it's captured the, the wind on the tree. So the top of it's a bit out of focus. So I don't like that bit. Other than that, sort of the same so I'm not gaining anything out of this situation so I'm gonna take it off for now and try it again over there because there's a bit of a stream so that's good to know I guess hopefully that doesn't fall in I think I'm gonna try and find a few different compositions around here I like looking down the drops Just finding a safe place to put the camera, really. But there's definitely something here. I've had a bit of a wander around, and I think I actually like this tree more than I like the waterfall. 
when you're using a polarizer in the waters like this, you can get rid of that glare and it sort of turns it black. Um, I'll do a little video actually. So if you watch the water here, see how it's really bright, just behind the tree, like here. As you twist it, the water is going to get darker. And around there. And it just helps make it all stand out. And it just looks a lot less distracting. So I've done a portrait shot of that tree, um, just on its own. Not convinced it's a print worthy picture, but a bit more of an experiment really. Not my usual style. So I think what I'm going to do now is get back onto the track and then go over there and then decide what to do then. That's where we were before. I think I made the wrong decision by coming over here because you can't really see much now. You got the better view from over on that side. Unless you can get a better view from over here. That's freezing the way though. So I've got this all set up now. I've gone for a couple of different photos here. The first one I did was a, a landscape shot with a waterfall on the left, with those colourful rocks on the right. And underneath the waterfall, there's a, a rocky section. So these are all small rocks. Then there's a clear patch here. And you can see the drop down. For the landscape photo, I used a polarizer and got rid of all that glare so you could see right through the water. But I'm going for a portrait shot now because imagine it as a black and white photo. You got dark with the white water, then down in the water as well, there's a reflection of the, the waterfall. So that's sort of making a arch shape. So I'm going to try that as a black and white image. I don't do too many black and whites, so be worth a try. It started spitting a little bit, so I'm gonna get these quickly before that happens, and then we might go down, down there, but we'll see what happens and decide what to do depending on the weather. I know before in a video I was saying about the polarizer and how it makes it better. I think it makes some things better. I am. Um, I think I prefer the shots without it though on this one. The good things about it have been um, it takes the reflection off them rocks over there and it makes the colors a bit more saturated. But it sort of works better without it on this one because of that reflection well mainly the reflection but that that's going to be a big part of this photo I think so I guess playing around is the answer I think I'm happy with what I've got here um, so I'm probably going to have a bit of a play around here try some different compositions and that doesn't look very safe on there. I don't really do too much with waterfalls usually. So it's quite fun to have a play around every now and again. You keep seeing more compositions the more that you look. That rain's getting a lot heavier. You can see it all in the water. But I think I'm going to keep on having a play here, probably go for a portrait shot looking that way 
get the waterfall and this rocky outface. It's got some yellow flowers on there. Maybe. It doesn't look as good now I said it out loud. But I think I'm gonna end the video here because it's gonna be similar stuff just from a different angle now. So I'll do a blog post and put all the photos in there. I did also try the same composition with different shutter speeds, just increasing the ISO and just so I can compare the water movement and see what I like. Because I think what I don't like about the waterfall shots is when they're too soft. That just annoys me for some reason. I don't even know why. I think I like the clarity and sharpness of things. So the soft just doesn't really go with that. So I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time.